hi welcome to another uh, hexagon 2.5 video tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, or, or I have improved on uh, retopology in hexagon or how to do it <clears throat> like I said before I don't think uh, retopology is meant to be done in hexagon but you can do it and if you saw my video uh, where uh, showed you how oops accidentally closed up hexagon let's get that open back up here um, I showed you how to uh, optimize a mesh uh, in sculptors to bring into hexagon <clears throat> so let's go ahead and and uh, import that mesh uh, that I used in that tutorial and let's see uh, we find object okay all right here he is <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition him up here let's drag him up and I'm going to scale this guy up quite a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the properties panel here I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off all our grids and I'm gonna use my P key on the keypad to switch from perspective to orthographic as you can see uh, the sky is really dark so going to open up my side panel over here with the material and shading domains and uh, remove the shading domains and I'm going to remove the material and let's see here and then um, let's see let me turn on my draw mode so I can draw on the screen and uh, then I'm going to go down here um, right on the bottom here to our different uh, displays and I'm going to choose smoothed solid so that when I deselect uh, this object you can see uh, that uh, we're not showing the wireframe um, in hexagon or matter of fact in any uh, 3d application uh, the software has to render um, the location in 3d space of the the wires and vertices and stuff and uh, uh, some software can't handle those <coughs> calculations or a huge amount of uh, calculations at once and especially in hexagon uh, the more vertices and or the more polys you have uh, you have a chance of it slowing down or at least on on uh, my system it does on your system it may not uh, depending on your graphics card RAM and so on and so forth but anyway let's get back uh, to the retopo and uh, right now I have uh, right here on this little icon the second one over uh, I have the actual lighting uh, displayed I think we're gonna go up here and uh, choose a different display mode probably the second one up so that we get a little bit more of a uh, fake shadow look and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select this guy again and I'm gonna uh, give him a new material <clears throat> and I think we're gonna go with uh, some sort of red uh, it's a matter of preference and the reason we're gonna do that is that when, when we start uh, our retopo or putting our new topology on top of this guy we'll see our 
new topology better. Okay, now I have uh, the sky deselected, and I'm just going to go up here under the primitives tab, and uh, the third icon over is the facet tool, or it's pretty much a draw polygon tool. I have the uh, hotkey set to F. I think by default uh, hexagon use the uh, hotkey F is is um, oh soft selection. Um, so, but I've changed that. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, but let's uh, before we start retopoing. Uh, right down here on the bottom second icon in this selection or in this section here is uh, your snapping uh, options and I have it set to faces and points and so let's go ahead and start drawing on here and I'm gonna have start activate my facet tool and I'm gonna hold the shift so I can snap to uh, this head here and I'm going to draw the rectangle and hit enter to confirm that and I'm just going to continue to work around here drawing on this new topology and uh, Sometimes, uh, let's go ahead and validate that. Uh, sometimes I, I miss uh, snapping those vertices together. So, what I like to do is go under the vertex modeling tab and uh, go up here and uh, choose average weld. You may want to turn on your point uh, mode and just the average weld and just just click to you uh, <clears throat> make sure those vertices are welded together oh by the way too um, <clears throat> before you start your retopology make sure that uh, your uh, base mesh that you're re retopoing uh, is not selected otherwise uh, your new uh, Geometry will uh, automatically be a part of that default mesh. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you, uh, let's make sure that we're in front view here, uh, is under the vertex modeling tab. Um, this icon right here, oh, nope, wrong one. Um, the Symmetry icon is what we're going to use next. I'm going to drag this properties panel over here so maybe you can see it better. I'm going to activate the symmetry and I'm going to make sure that I click the clone is on. And then this icon here, I'm going to click that and it's center of symmetry mode. I'll show you what happens here. You have a uh, um, you can a little green dot there on the end of a blue line and what we're gonna do is clone this geometry over uh, so it's automatically making the other side of our mesh while we're working and uh, what you want to do is just kinda put it in the same position on the opposite side of your mesh so that it is symmetrical. So I'm just going to put it right about there and I'm going to click. And you can see that's kind of in the same place as it is on our other side. Yeah, I think I missed a little bit so let's control Z that and let's trying to do it again see if we can get it kind of in the same place you can now uh, look on the other side and see where 
the other green dot is and kind of get it in the same place there. I think it may be right there. <coughs> yeah, I think that's it. Close enough anyway. So now we can go ahead and uh, go back in here and uh, go back to our facet tool and go back to work and you can see um, over here watch on this side and you can see that uh, that geometry is being added on the other side also so let's hide this and let's uh, activate our average wield and make sure that our um, everything's welded together still so hope you enjoyed this video um, if I figure out any new tips that I can uh, share with you on doing this in hexagon I will do so um, I hope this tutorial helped you out and uh, thank you for watching